Hello, um, I wanted to show you my uh, Minkowski space-time and special relativity applet. Um, you'll see all these buttons down here. It's kind of a complicated application. It's got uh, no nothing going on on the screen right at the beginning. One of the things you can do, you can basically do two things with it. You can draw either uh, what is called a space-like interval or a time-like interval. A time-like interval is two events that uh, that occur at the same place but at different times. But a space-like interval are two events that occur at different places but at the same time. Now when I draw a space-like interval the application goes ahead and draws an object in between. Here are the two events, right here and right here, but then it draws an object where it would appear now. You see the, and then what happens is if I grab a, <clears throat> one of these events, <clears throat> the Lorentz transformation does something special with the event. It can move it to the right or to the left. Now what, now if you can imagine, um, like, Right now, if, if it's right here, the event is going to happen in the future. Uh, so if I pass time, the event kind of slides down, and then when it reaches here, that's when the event is happening. Okay, I'm going to go back to where it was at the beginning. But on the other hand, if we accelerated to the right, then the event would move to the left so that the event no longer happens will happen where we are but off to our left when we accelerate to the right so if we pass time there you can see the reason that is happening off to our right is because the object is moving off to the left anyway um, what's the difference between um, special relativity and regular relativity is is that basically this that in regular relativity well let's go let's kinda move this down this is a huge scale what we're seeing here um, you can see down on the lower right hand corner what the mouse location is that that category there is right now when it's close to the center it gives like a hundred and seventy three thousand eight hundred and seventy nine kilometers when I go over here a little further, it gives it in light seconds. Light seconds is like 300,000 kilometers. So you can see this is a just a tremendous scale that we're working on here. To the left and to the right is a huge scale. Up and down is like just like 10, sec 10 seconds in the past to 10 seconds in the future. So it's not a big scale on the, on the vertical. All right, I'm going to clear everything that I've drawn. And, and move this lever down until you see what happens to the X there. The X gets um, smaller, or well, basically it just slides together. So that what happens here is the speed of light is really is almost a vertical line. And you can see I, it's it's very easy for me to draw a time-like curve, but to get a space-like curve, I've got to get those two events to be right perfectly um, together or right perfectly aligned vertically now this is um, kind of how the how they say the Lorentz transformation essentially becomes the Galilean transformation at low velocities and you can see this by if I take this um, event here and move it it stays at the same time no matter what I do um, and that's that's basically how we think of reality is that time is a constant if we move it the if we move back and forth um, or an event happens at the place where it happens uh, it can happen to the left or to the right but it happens at the time it happens you can't change the time an event happens you can only change the location relative to an observer. But when we come out 
uh, and have the speed of light involved, um, then that event can move up and down. It's a different thing um, preserved in the low velocity case. I've got to get it right down to the center so it's moving very, very slowly. In the low velocity case, um, what is what we want to preserve and what we assume is preserved when we think about things is that time is preserved, right? That an event that happens at a certain time happens at that time. On the other hand, what we want to preserve when we get up towards the speed of light is the speed of light. Now, the slopes of these lines essentially uh, are the speed of light. So if I take this, you notice this uh, this gray box this gray box appears you can see that those diagonal lines are kind of we're just scrunching down 